Miguel, let me let me start with this. Uh, you've had kind of a tumultuous several months. How how good does it feel just to be here, to be back fighting? And can I put the last several months behind you? Uh, if I put them behind me a, a long time ago, you know, um, I never stopped training. You know, I've been working out since January, and uh, just to be able to have a fight and train for it, and be able to be here now and, and be on the stage to come and fight is is, is a great. It's like for me, it's all I ever want to do in life, and it's a great feeling. You're a veteran, obviously. Michael McDonald's a young kid. He's got a lot of experience for only being, what, 21 years old or 22 years yeah. old. But do you remember what it was like coming up? I mean, those those early days of fighting. He's a young kid. You know, he's kind of enjoying himself. you got the veteran experience. But for a young kid, he does have a lot of experience. Oh, 100%. You know, when I was his age, I took everything extremely serious. I mean, I could see myself. Or I could see him, you know, the way I was when I was his age. You know, I was the same. I was extremely focused. I knew what I wanted to do. I was training extremely hard. I believed in myself. I mean, he has all the traits that I had when I was his age. Um, the biggest difference is that I have passed through 10 more years than he has. And I've been through 10 more years of, of fights. And uh, people might say, oh, you have over, you're over your prime. I haven't hit my prime yet. You know, I just started training with TriStar two years ago. I just, I'm just finding a new mesh for my style. I think my best days, are even, they haven't even hit yet. And uh, you know, for him, he has a long way to go. And I think all the points that he's fought, they've been tough guys, but they haven't had that, that edge, that, that neck, that experience. And, and I have that. I think I'm the most dangerous point he's ever fought. Um, the loss that I lost, you know, the, against Bulls and Benavidez, I wasn't ready for those fights, you know. The Bulls fight, I, I trained two or three weeks for the fight. You know, I was traveling too much and I wasn't doing the right things. And the Benavidez fight, I was hurt, you know, I didn't train for that fight either. You could tell when I went that I was off. Every fight that I trained for, I haven't lost. Besides the Demetrius Johnson fight, which I think I got robbed. But, um, you know, I just take one thing. I think you have to get better from what you, you know, you lose, you got to get better from that. Miguel, you mentioned... Uh you know, the travel the, before the Bulls fight, all the stuff you had, the pressure of being, you know, when you were WC Bantamweight champion, you were number two, I think, number three, pound for pound in the world. What did you learn from that that you carry to now that as you go back on maybe a title run, and you beat Michael McDonald, that's a, that's a big statement in that division. What do you think you learned from that experience that you feel like is going to carry you towards another title run? The most important thing that I've learned is that I can say no, and that training is my most important focus. So, you know, the biggest problem that I had was when I was in Chicago, and I would get a call from my manager and say, hey, you're going to the show this weekend. You're going to go do some. You're going to New York tomorrow. I would get a call like Tuesday night. Hey, pack up. You're going to take off to New York Wednesday morning. And I'm like, but I'm training. For, yeah, I'm training for. It doesn't matter. You got to go. And they fly me out there, and they fly me a training partner. But we're in a hotel with no gym, no no mats. No, you know, there's no time to train. So it's, it's like I'm there and I'm trying to work on the room. It's 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 crazy, you know. And I didn't look at it as it was wrong. I just looked at it as something that I had to adapt to. And it's almost impossible to adapt to that. You know, you watch some of the boxers, how they train when they travel and do PR, they got their, their whole crew goes with them. They still got gym time and they still have time to eat properly. And, you know, I wasn't doing those things. You know, I didn't, I didn't know anybody. And, uh, you know, you learn through experience.